Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a live sub count command that will display something like this. As you can see, obviously I don't update that always whenever I get or lose a subscriber. And shout out to this guy for um, showing me or telling me to do this. And let's just get started. So what you want to do here is go to your Discord, uh, I mean your glitch thing. I'm all over the place today, so I'm very sorry, but let's just uh, put in our little starting thing that actually says we're going to be doing a command. And let's just name this command subcount. Uh, I think that's going to be pretty easy to type out there. And then now we actually want to get started. So first things first, you want to go to this website. I'll leave it in the link in the description, obviously. And you want to click on create credentials. You want to click on an API key. Don't click on anything else. Um, click on API key. It's going to give you the API key. And just stay on this tab for a little bit. Don't do anything yet. And uh, and then you want to go to youtube.com slash account underscore advanced and now let's actually got, get typing so um, once you have both of those tabs open you want to download something to your package.json called request it's a simplified HTTP uh, request client it's just like snake fetch or something but I, I'm sure you could use that but let's just get started here so var request equals require request okay that's it guys thanks for watching I'm just kidding um, and then var ID equals and then you want to find your channel ID uh, which you can find right here so just go ahead and copy that and then paste it right there and then var key right here is where you're actually gonna paste your YouTube API key so go ahead and just copy that paste that and then let's actually get into the kind of difficult section so var URL equals now this is very important that you pay close attention I might even leave this little link in the description below um, or this line I guess Google APIs dot com slash YouTube slash v3 slash channels part equals statistics um, and ID equals and then plus ID, and then another plus sign, and then more things. I don't even know what I did there, but that's supposed to be a plus. And uh, ampersands key equals, and then do another plus, and put our key right there. And now we're actually going to make the request, because you don't really do anything with this yet. Um, so request, let's see here. Um, space that out just a little bit. So our method is going to be get, if you didn't know that, uh, because we aren't really posting anything to the thing, I guess. They're posting stuff to us, if that makes any sense. But don't really worry about that. I'm going to tell you guys exactly how to do this. So the URL, that's the variable that we put right here. So that's what we're going to be actually po uh, getting. So that's interesting. And then you want to do a little close bracket right there. And then our function, that is going to be filled with error response and text and then do another bracket there and if error do another bracket we're gonna have a lot of brackets just FYI uh, your code might be full of brackets after this so return so basically if there's an error it's just gonna return it to us and then um, after that you want to do um, var json I had I had a friend named Jason. I'm not going to get into it, but uh, <laughs> that's a good friend of mine. Anyway, so var te or var Jason equals Jason parse text, and our text, if you didn't see it, is literally just something that we put in here. So um, that's epic. And then we're going to semicolon there, and then var sub count equals Jason dot items. Uh, and then zero, this is going to get the first result. Oh my gosh, I cannot type. Um, it's been a long time since I coded this thing, so sorry. Statistics dot subscriber count. And you're probably seeing what we're doing here. And then I'm honestly not even sure why we're having an error here of this. Um, oh, I see, because what we did, we did not close that off yet. Okay, so I'm pretty sure it's just going to be the ending like that. Um, and then message or let's actually do the message inside of this message dot channel dot send do backticks as I always say that means we're gonna be doing a variable you guys already know the deal 
and uh, sub count is how many subs that channel has. And that's that. And now uh, let's just kind of fix this up a little bit because obviously I didn't know what I was doing. And that's basically it. Um, this is the end of the command bracket, by the way. So now let's go in and let's go into our tutorial server here and uh, do pretty sure our prefix is plus plus die. If it's not, then oh well, I don't know what I'm doing. But since it should have restarted there, let's do. Alright, there we go. And now let's try sub count. Why is it not working? Okay, so the issue is it could not find the module, so let's double check. Uh, this is good because I actually need to tell you guys about this. What you want to do is go into tools, the terminal, and just type in there P, well, if it's going to load, P and PMI. And that's going to update everything. That is going to update your Discord.js client. If you want, make sure it's back at 11.5.1 because this whole tutorial is based off of that. Obviously, that's a little bit of an older version, but um, just double check that. And now, if we sub count, it's not going to. Oh, there it is. And 857 is how many subs that channel has. And that's basically that. This is a very, very, very hard command. So if you guys got it working, then good job. You got the Big Brain Award. Um, and I've been recording for six minutes, and I'm sure you guys don't want to hear my voice anymore because it's kind of annoying. But that is how you do it. Make sure you do the P and PMI at the end just so, you know, you update everything. And that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.